Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sugar and Sprinkle. On this video, I'm going to be showing you on how to make mini sapin sapin. And if you want the exact measurement on this video, I will leave the link in the description box below. And for the ingredients, we need coconut cream, condensed milk, granulated sugar, ubi halaya or cooked ube, glutinous rice flour, regular rice flour, cooked sweet potato or kamote, ubi flavoring, and a yellow food color. And for the toppings, I'll be using toasted sweetened coconut flakes. You can use latek. And for the molds, I have two different molds here, but I'll be using the red one. I just want to show you guys that you can also use the cupcake silicone mold. So in a large bowl, add in the coconut cream, the condensed milk, granulated sugar, regular rice flour, and the glutinous rice flour. And then using a wire whisk, whisk this in until it's well combined. So I'll be using a blender for this to blend in the rest of the ingredients, like the potato and the Obihalaya. So into my Nutribullet, I add in Obihalaya and then one cup and two tablespoons of the mixture. And I will puree this until smooth. And then pour it into another bowl and do the same thing with the sweet potato. So now you will have purple, yellow, and regular mixture. So into the yellow, add in the yellow food color and whisk that in. To the purple, add in the obi flavoring. And then for the white one, you're just gonna have to leave it plain. So into the mold, brush it with coconut oil or you can use melted butter so using a tablespoon add in a tablespoon of the ubi mixture into the prepared molds and steam this for about 10 minutes or until the mixture is set And after 10 minutes, you now add in the yellow mixture. So each mixture, I add in a tablespoon. And steam this the same time as you did to the purple. And lastly, add in the plain mixture or the white one and also steam this for the same amount of time or what you did for the yellow and the purple so this is gonna be my serving dish I line it with banana leaves and brush it with coconut oil but if you don't have banana leaves you can just use a regular um, serving dish 
So now carefully remove the sapin sapin from the molds and arrange it in your serving dish. And you're gonna do the rest of the mixture. You do the same from the first one. So I make about 20, 20 pieces of this. So once you're done steaming all the mixture, you can now add in your favorite toppings. So if you're using latik, you can now add in the latik into the um, sapin sapin. And thank you very much for watching and subscribing into my channel. I will see you on my next video. But before I go, I want to show you what the inside looks like. So I will cut one of these. And this is what the inside looks like. This is really good. It just melts right in your mouth. So I hope you give it a try. And let me know in the comment below. Bye. Take care.